Hello guys. Today I'm gonna work on an example for WSDL, WSDL, also known as Web Service Description Language. So I'll be doing an example on how to create an WSDL file and also how to consume a WSDL file that, that, that we find on the internet. So the very first thing you need to do is on your Eclipse. Um, so for Mac users, go to Eclipse and Preference. For Windows users, I'll go to Window, and you'll find um, Preference over somewhere over here. Okay. And go to Web Services, and we'll be using CXF. Uh, two point preferences and here um, it's already added here but you need to add your Apache CXF 2.4.1 or whichever version you have add this open and um, just finish then you check this make sure you check this and make sure you check this one and apply and okay now we are ready to make one so we'll just make a new dynamic web project and um, so I'll be making a method to subtract subtract two integers so um, let me just give a name here new service subtraction okay um, let me just add this to my working set next next um, generate finish okay so the very first thing you need is an interface with the method you have okay so let me go ahead and create a package here so it's com the web service okay any package name yes okay now we need an interface here, so I is your BSDR CPI subtraction. Finish, and let me go ahead and make a method. Um, and return type is int. So method name is subtract. So this will take two parameters, int x and int y. Okay, we'll just declare this method here. And we, we, we need an implementation class. So let's do new class. Subtraction, IMPL. Okay, so interface, I'll just directly um, add this interface over here. Okay, or you could manually do implement subs, uh, I subtraction and override this method. Okay, and we write our business logic here. So just do int z is equals to x minus y. Okay, and return z. It's a simple one. Okay, now. In our implementing in, implementation class, you do at web services control space web service, mm -hmm. and here in point interface is equals to quotes control space 
So this will give you the interface. I mean, you should have your interface, location of your interface over here. Save. Similarly, over here, we do with web service. Okay, that's it. All right, now let's click on your implementation class. Right click, go to web services, create web service. Okay, you should get some like a something like this on your screen. So here, make sure you are using Tomcat, whichever server you want. So I have two. I'll use Tomcat, and we need to make sure you use using Apache CXF. Okay. Okay, now see, I'll pass the CFX, CXF, and Tomcat. Okay. Next, should work. Let's do next again. And check on the first one. You can try checking on the rest of this. But, um, so if you, you can, you can see the changes. So this is the interface we have currently. And if you check this, uh, add web method, this is going to give operation name and action name if we check web parameters this is going to assign parameters to our parameters so you can either do that or you can just skip that, skip that too so next again so here you need to check make sure you check this and generate WSDL okay and over here generate separate access D for the types you could either check this so if you check this you'll get two files in your uh, WSDL folder if you can uncheck this so if you uncheck this your SD XSD will be included in your uh, WSDL, uh, WSDL file okay I'll go ahead and uncheck this one next okay and this is going to create a WSDL so this will start our server. So so you'll get this screen when you're done. So just finish. Okay. Now here you'll see Westel folder and you'll get a Westel file. And as I said before, um, mentioned before. If you check the uh, generate separate XSD, you'll have two files over here. So uh, we don't we don't we don't need to worry about that. So you'll see like there are a few packages um, it creates. So uh, we don't worry about those two. Okay. So this is the file. Let's take a look at this one. So so here these are your XSD. Um, so I mean, if you have a XSD separate XSD file, these will be defined in in a different file. So since I didn't do that, um, it's all of them are de defined here. So if you go over here, you have all the tags, message, operation, port type, binding. So I hope you know all this. So the link over here. Let me go ahead and open it in the browser. Okay, you'll get something like this. So if you do question mark WSDL so this is the SD, um, WSDL file so suppose this is what you have okay so now you are done creating a WSDL file so publishing file publishing side is done so suppose you are a client and you have this file you'll be given a URL and you have this file so how to create how to use this WSDL file and how to use a method give, um, defined in here so, so suppose you have this okay you just do space save page as okay and change the uh, extension to WSDL save okay so I have that f file in my downloads it's right here okay so I'm gonna use this to use the method given in that whistle 